writers such as Mickey Rourke, Jessica Alba, Evergreen, Josh Brolin, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, it makes it all the more worth it that we waited nine years for this movie. Today, on Movie Moment, we take a look at Sin City, A Dame to Kill For. Just another Saturday night. Power is a fragile thing. Co-producers Robert Rodriguez and Frank Miller reunite to bring Miller's visually stunning novels back to the big screen, weaving together some of Miller's more classic stories with some new tales, in which some of the city's more hard-boiled citizens cross paths with some of its more reviled inhabitants. Why does that you? What I gotta do. She owns me. She was an angel. When she wishes it, we die. One of these days she'll pull the trigger. <laughs> It's a good game. You pee basketball! Basketball! Ah! Dean, tell me, what did you think of Sin City, A Dame to Kill For? I thought it was fantastic. Well, if you could give Sin City five stars, how many would you give it? I'd give it four or three and a half. Duke, what brought you down to the Galaxy Cinema today? I wanted to see Sin City too. Uh, it, I like the genre, and I came down to see the new release. So what did you think of it? I thought it was awesome. I really liked the way they, they carried the characters through the show, and I really enjoy the way they, the, the makeup and the different style of movie going. It's, it's enjoyable to me. What did you think of the 3D effects? Oh, they were awesome. I thought they were really, really great. Now, you've seen the first Sin City. Do you have a favorite? I think the first one is more, I'm more partial to it because it was the first time I ever saw something like that. This time around, it's not as new to me, but the newness of the first one got me hooked. We've been hearing that from a lot of people. Oh, right on. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Anytime. Thanks for asking. Rachel and TM, what did you think of Sin City, A Dame to Kill For? Oh, I loved it. It was a great movie. And what did you think? Um, I really like how Evergreen was the villain in the movie because in most movies males are the villains but this time a female character got to like be the villain. It was kind of cool. <laughs> Jesse and Mark, what did you guys think of the movie? Great movie for sure. One of my favorites I've seen in the past year. Haven't seen uh, any other ones but uh, I like the plot. <laughs> Sin City, a dame to kill for, really dazzles. It looks like every frame just steps right out of a comic book. I'll be honest, at first I didn't know how much I was going to love this movie because we've all seen it before in the first movie from 2005. But let me tell you, this sequel is just as good as the first one. I am especially a big fan of Eva Green, who's been doing an amazing job in movies this year. And she takes her part as a femme fatale and really takes it to the top. I loved finally seeing a female playing the role of a villain in this movie, and especially loved the way it was all in black and white, but when she got really evil, her eyes would turn a really cool green and her lips would go dark red. All that being said, everybody should come down and see Sin City, A Dame to Kill For, and remember that there can be no justice without sin. Sin City's where you go in with your eyes open. Or you don't come out at all. Evergreen must have really made an impression on Frank Miller, considering earlier this year she also starred in a role in one of Frank Miller's graphic novels, 300 Rise of an Empire. She's really making her way into a lot of movies this year. For your movie moment, I'm Joanne Bluen.